hello students i welcome you all presently we are dealing with one of the important aspects of english phonetics that is intonation as you know very well intonation is one of the important sections of aspects of connected speech and we talked in detail about what is intonation what are the types of tones and of course in this class i am going to deal with the fourth type of tone that is rising falling tone and after all this lesson will come to an end friends you have a clear idea now when to use a falling tone when to use a rising tone and in my previous class i also talked about using falling rising tone now in this class i am going to deal with the last type of tone that is rising falling tone by the end of this lecture you will have a comprehensive idea about the suggestions and the rules which are offered over here in the course of last few periods now i would like to talk on rising falling tone actually rising falling tone is a combination of rise and a fall yesterday i told you falling rising tone is marked with the symbol v v for victory this falling rising this is the combination of the two likewise here you have the rising falling tone so reverse direction of victory or v for victory is to be marked like this this is rising falling right so this kind of uh, symbol is generally used for rising falling tone so as i said now this is a combination of a rise and a fall the rise actually reinforces the meaning conveyed by the following fall so first it rises and then it comes down that is there is a fall in addition the initial rise may indicate the warmth sarcasm kind of feelings now let us notice the use of rising falling tone in the following utterances so i will give you a few examples in this particular category so that you will understand better what exactly and how exactly the rising falling tone is to be used the statement showing enthusiastic expressions and agreement see here you know while talking to the people while living our life there are several occasions that we become enthusiastic 
and when we are enthusiastic we make some expressions and agreements so if at all we are doing such kind of statements which are having some sort of enthusiastic expression and agreement they are to be marked with rising falling tone see here now suppose somebody is asking we are planning for a picnic and we are planning to go to kerala do you agree with this so since you are really fond of traveling so in an enthusiastic agreement immediately you say yes the moment you give the immediate response with a lot of excitement and agreement then you say yes the moment you say like this this is to be marked with a rising falling tone okay now you see here there is another agreement in the following sentence it was horrifying you know it was horrifying so there will be either an agreement or disagreement from your end but this sentence or statement shows either your consent or rejection so when i say it was horrifying means i myself agreed that it was horrifying right it was frightful it was dreadful it was horrible right so in all these cases whether it is horrifying frightful dreadful horrible you have to mark rising falling See now, there are a few more examples in the same category. Would you like to come with us for a party? Would you like to come with us for a party? This is a question asked by, and we expect your agreement or disagreement. And when you say, "Of course," see, it is an enthusiastic response given by. So when you get the enthusiastic response from the other end with an agreement. of course course ka is to be marked with rising falling to see the another example it's fine it's fine with me it means whatever is happening around i have no objection no botheration at all so i simply call it's fine it's fine with me fine is to be marked with rising falling to see the another that example here it has a little bit of suspicious interest uh, but is her son in the picture question mark so this picture is to be marked rising falling are you sure this will work again it's a suspicious mocking are you sure this will work i'm doubtful i'm not sure like whether it will work or not having a doubt about it but are you sure whether this will really work or not are you sure this will work work is to be marked with a rising point how amazing it is an excitement that you are expressing right so when you are ex expressing your excitement how amazing a uh, uh, is to be marked with rising falling so in such kind of expression we need to be so careful that we should mark uh, such kind of sentences with rising falling tone then you have certain questions certain type of questions i would say the questions which are showing suspicion suspicion means a doubt indignation incredulity and mockery in such cases you should be able to use rising falling tone see the question here all these questions are expressing some sort of doubt what is that what has he been doing so here doing is to be marked with a rising falling will you be able to do it i'm i'm doubtful about your ability of work it means i'm showing a doubt and a suspicion then i say will you be able to do it do do is to be marked with rising see another doubt here can you finish it by tomorrow 
I have a doubt. I'm not sure, like, will you be able to complete it by tomorrow? Can you finish it by tomorrow? Mo is to be marked with rising, falling, tomorrow. Okay. So whenever you have a doubt and express such kind of suspicion in your sentence, so such sentences are to be marked with rising, falling, now I switch over to the third category under this umbrella that is imperative expressions expressing petulance and haughtiness. See, we do express so many types of sentences in our life. But if at all you are expressing either a haughtiness or petulance, you should use rising pali. Go, break your head. See here, suppose you know you are really disappointed or irritated with someone else and you want to get rid of him, then only you express this kind of haughtiness in your life. Go and break your head. I have nothing to do with that. Go and break your head. Head is to be marked with rising falling. See the petulance here. Come and face the music. See, I suggested you for several times not to do so. Since you did not follow my suggestions. Now you pay, come and face the music because whatever consequences are there that you have to face. I have nothing to do with that. So when such kind of petulance we are expressing, we need to mark rising falling to come and face the music. Ma is to be marked with rising falling to. Then you have the last type over here that is exclamation expressing sarcasm and irony. If at all you are making some sort of mockery or irony or sarcasm in your statements, then only you should use rising falling tone. How good for you? Okay, I'm making a sarcasm. Good evening, ironically I am telling. Since he promised me to meet me in the afternoon, but he did not turn up at all. And I am ironically saying, good evening. Oh, really? Oh, really? So I have some sort of ironical expression or a, I want to make some mockery or I want to express some sort of sarcasm. Then only I am using rising palito. How good for you. Good evening. Oh, really? So in all these cases, how good for you. Good is to be marked with rising palito. Good evening is to be marked with evening is to be marked with rising palito. Oh, really? Ra is to be marked with rising palito. So these are the various types of tones in English phonetics. Okay, so this was one of the very important, uh, I would say, sections of English phonetics. Since we started talking about aspects of connected speech and this intonation and types of tones is one of the very important sections of this particular area.